Hello, I'm the Elf from Down the Hobbit Hole blog. We're going to start with our non-spoiler review for Jurassic World. Okay, non-spoiler. One, it fixed a lot of the complaints that people had with the previous series. Uh, the dinosaurs were more realistic, according to what uh, paleontologists now know. Of course, there was still a lot of unrealistic and a lot of um, tribute to the originals. Two, the diversity. Um, there was a lot of positive diversity in this movie and even sort of, uh, fixing previous errors in that section. Um, three, a lot of the scenes were very realistic and believable. There was also a couple that kind of suspended belief and um, that was a little, brought me out of it just a little bit. Okay. Oh, and the thing this video is mainly about. Um, the entire plot revolves around genetics. So if you have a kiddo that you are bringing to this, a teen you're bringing to this, a friend you are bringing to this, um, that has a, um, a, any sort of adoptive foster kinship background, um, you're gonna wanna think twice about it, maybe read a, um, a spoiler review, or, uh, watch the rest of this video that is a spoiler review. Um, because everyone's experience is different, and this might be triggering for some. It might also be really encouraging for others. Um, but it's something to take into consideration. Okay, that's the end of the non-spoiler review. Spoilers coming up here. Spoilers coming up here. No, really. We're going to talk about some big movie spoilers after this. Okay, so... I will say, first off, I'm not sure how I felt about the movie as a whole. I think generally positive. I think I, I was asked to rate it afterwards and I gave it a 7 out of 10. And I think I stand by that. There was, at the conclusion, this whole... Uh, you know, we avoided this gamble, but we took this gamble. And um, in a way that, you know, the point was we have to figure out a way to coexist and coexisting isn't perfect and you have to take some gamble to coexist. So there was that. Um, really enjoyed it overall, really enjoyed it overall. And I will say that, um, Again, everyone's experience is different, but this might be, and please correct me if I'm wrong and remind me if there is a better movie um, that does this, but this might be the first movie, y'all, that I have ever seen that both bio parents and adoptive parents are displayed in semi-realistic positive lights um they both are presented as you know having indescribable love for the child and fighting you know fighting for the child and um desperately loving the child and Again, not everyone's experience is like this. So you might have a kid that, or a friend, um, or you might be seeing this and, and your experience either with adoptive or bio parents was not, was not really like that and was not displayed or was not, you know, presented in this movie. Um, but I really do think it's the first movie that I've seen where uh, bio parents and and adoptive parents are displayed in that light. It also really just, man, hits on the, um, I want to say duplicity, but that's not the right word, but just the, the and factor 
of um, it's both this and that. It can be two things at the same time. It can be confusing. Um, also, nobody else understands. And you just got to keep going anyways. And people say stupid stuff. Uh, like she's not yours. Um, you're not real. All, all those things, right? And it also hits on that dual feeling of the of the child just not really feeling uh like they belong genetically and not feeling real not feeling like themselves not knowing because they don't know their genetic background or because they might not know some children do know and grow up with that um but it, this child did not grow up with that and felt like she didn't know where she belonged and that she was, you know, multiple people and she wasn't really herself. And, um, man, I have not seen a movie before that really just hit on that so well and then wrapped it up so beautifully with, um, you do belong, you are your own person, you are valued, you are loved. And with the, and also, um, validated the adoptive family as a family unit, as a whole real family unit. Um, I could talk for a really long time about this, but I've already gone almost seven minutes. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up at that and say, if you have any other movies that you can think of like that, please drop it below because I would love to kind of compare and contrast and and see um, see what other positive representation there is out there. I just really felt like, man, on all sides of, I, the, you, we talk a lot about the triad in the adoptive foster world. And I feel like this just hit so positively on all sides of that. Um, so, let me know what you thought about that, what you think about that. Again, I think it's important to note that not everyone's experiences are the same. This might be encouraging for some, it might be discouraging for others. I mean, this could be a very positive discussion. It could also be a really, you know, a really hurtful point. Um, for me personally, where I am on my journey, um, it, it made me cry a little bit. Um, it, it was positive and lethargic, lethargic, cathartic for me. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it, it would be for you. So anyways, sorry, this video is shaky. I just didn't intend to record it less or didn't intend to record it tonight, but I just really wanted to get these thoughts out. I'm just like, even though it was a seven, it might be my new favorite movie because of how, and that's a big statement, but because of how it represented the triad. But I really want to go back and see it again when I'm not distracted by all the jump scares because guys, ah, lots of jump scares. Um, the eight-year-old behind us was terrified. So... Again, if they can't handle the previous movies on the big screen, they're not going to be able to handle this one, for sure. Lots of jump scares, y'all. It's the finale. They're going to put a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of jump scares in there. So, just be aware of that. I think that's it, but, whew. Wow. It's a lot to process. And kind of exciting. The representation in this movie was exciting for me. There was so much um, diverse, positive representation that I have not seen before on a, on a couple of levels. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, we might do a follow-up follow -up video. We will definitely put some more on the blog. I will post our full review, our full blog review below probably make a quick reel about this too that I'll post. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you've hung on this long, check out the blog. We appreciate you. Click like, 
and subscribe and all the things you know you hear all the time. Thank you. We appreciate you. And let me know what you think. And if you, if there are any other movies that uh, you think really present this type of representation well. Talk to you later. Have a good week, y'all.